Creek Safety Toolbox talk is on hazards associated with using equipments. What are some of the equipments we use on our projects? Let me, let me just give you insight of the past few years on burgling construction job sites and the hazards associated with our primary equipments in our text this week. You may want to print this out and read this to your, your teams in addition to the video. I'm going to start with beta hoists. On our supported and suspended projects, we use beta hoists. And who's ever controlling that, the load is coming up, it's coming down, and a lot of guys like to guide that cable with their hands, and they're pinching and lacerating their fingers severely. So we've had some recordables and lost times in the past five years due to beta hoists. Boom and scissors lifts. 2016, we had a very serious injury on a boom lift that was working on uneven terrain. And as of late in the last couple of weeks, we've recognized another tradesman with our company literally using a boom lift that was on unlevel terrain. He's elevated in the air, going to his work destination. The alarm's going off like crazy, and he completely disregarded that. We need to understand the hazards associated with our equipments and the dangers that we're putting ourselves in. And these are trained people on these boom and scissors lifts. Lulls, bobcats. I got some lulls behind me here. We've had instances on projects where a lull was picking up a load of loose brick for whatever reason, elevated it up in the air, a bunch of the loose brick came down and landed on an owner-client transformer damaging a very expensive transformer. So we have property damage, but we could have had something much more severe because we have falling object protection there, don't we? And that would also involve cranes, falling object protection and the hazards associated with cranes, overhead power lines in addition to that. Recently, high power drills. We had a tradesman wearing two pairs of gloves to protect his hands using a DeWalt battery operated drill, long bit, and he wanted to guide that bit with his hand, and the rotating bit caught his gloves and fractured the tip of his finger. It's a recordable injury as of late because of our equipment and our tools. Got a compressor over here. There's fatal facts on compressors and compressed air when those couplings are not secured and they come loose and that compressed air is flying all over the place and it strikes someone, could create a serious injury and a for, uh, fatality. And then as of late also, we had an injury, uh, bruised ribs to an individual, it could have been worse, but our suspended motors on our swing stages, let's keep the drive cables tight this particular motor swiveled toward the tradesman, hitting him in the ribs. We have a lot of equipments that we use on our projects, and they're causing injuries. They create injuries. Do we know how to use the equipment? Did somebody mentor us on the equipment? You see this glass? In the last three or four years, we've had two separate cases on two separate jobs where our trained Bobcat driver was pulling up on a dumpster to drop a load in or to push a load down and got too close and shattered that glass all over himself inside that cap. Thousand pieces of glass coming in at him. Did he have his safety glasses on? Of course he did. If he didn't, he may have had glass in his face, but he might have also gotten serious lacerations to his body. So where I'm going with this is our equipment, primarily on burgling projects, owned by Burgling Construction Company, is creating injuries. It's creating exposures. We also, this summer, had a tradesman operating a lull, and he backed it right into a vehicle, causing almost $10,000 in damages to that vehicle. As you know, we want flaggers, spotters at all times when we have a bobcat or a lull in the vicinity of vehicular traffic. That happened to be a parked vehicle that he ran into. 
So this week, let's look at our jobs, let's talk about our equipment, let's talk about potential exposures, let's engineer those out, and let's make sure our tradesmen have been trained to operate their respective equipments. Thank you, and let's have a safe week.